right. I was 0% expecting the books to drop today. Hey guys, welcome back. So the book of the month picks for November have dropped today. Today is Halloween. I was not expecting the books to drop today. <laughs> I've planned after work, so I'm going to be as speedy about this as I possibly can. Just so you know, also, there is a poll live where you can vote on the November picks um, for the selections this month to choose which book I do the spoiler talk on. So if that's still live when you're watching this, please go vote. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the spoiler talk. Okay, so let's get started. There are six selections this month. The first is... <laughs> is a spy thriller. Unsurprisingly, I'm not excited about this. Um, so this is a repeat author. Are you mission ready? This hard nosed globetrotting espionage story will leave you questioning everything around you. It has multiple viewpoints, non-linear timeline, international and movie-ish. It's an interesting description. Okay, so we have a young CIA agent following the footsteps of her father. She's in Rome. She's looking for action when it walks right through her door. A lowly Russia, Russian operative is desperate, telling her that a US Senator is about to be assassinated on an overseas trip to Cairo. She believes he's telling the truth, but her superiors do not. And they determine the best course of action is no action at all. But when the assassination occurs, she suddenly thrust into er international conspiracy as she tries to figure out why the senator was killed. I'm not gonna lie, kind of sounds like a bad action movie. It only has 133 ratings so far. That's not very many. Four stars coming out November 14th, so the middle of the month. 368 pages. Oh, ooh, the cover is cool on that one. The beach is her face. Oh, I love that. So it's an early release. Contemporary fiction, The Last Love Note. Let those tears flow. No, thanks. You will be quickly won over by this widowed single mom learning to let love back into her heart. Oh, but it's romance, emotional, inspirational, and mama drama. Kate is a bit of a mess. Two years after losing her young husband, she's grieving, solo parenting, working, clinging to her sense of humor. Lurching from one comedic crisis to the next, she also navigates an overbearing mom and hinder obsessed best friend who's determined to match make Kate with her hot new neighbor. When an in-flight problem leaves Kate and her boss, Hugh, stranded for a weekend in the east coast of Australia, she finally has a chance away from her son and really process her grief and see what's right in front of her. Can she let go of the love of her life and risk her heart a second time? When it's clear that Hugh is hiding a secret, <laughs> Kate turns to the trail of scribbled notes that she wants to use to hold her life together. The first note captured her heart, will the last note set it free? I, <laughs> I don't immediately think of like, oh my God, you and Hugh, we're gonna fall in love. I'm more like, oh God, you're trapped with your boss. That sucks. Why does it say it's first published January 24th of 2023? Michael Joseph trade paperback and now Zibby Books is publishing it in November 28th. Don't love that. Um, but the ratings on this is pretty good so far, 4.22. Um, I don't know why they're calling it a contemporary fiction because it clearly says it's a romance and it sounds like a romance novel. Okay, I feel weird things about that one. So again and again, that looks cool. I like that cover with the puzzle pieces. An old man regales his nursing assistant with tales that blur fact and fantasy. Emotional, nonlinear timeline, unreliable narrator, I like that, and underdog. Book contains mentions of child abuse. I hate when books do that. Gino is living out his final days in a nursing home, bored and <laughs> curmudgeonly, and struggling to connect with his new nursing assistant, Angel, who is understandably skeptical of Gino's insistence on having lived not just one life, but many, all the way back to medieval Spain, where as a petty theft, he first lucked upon true love only to lose it and spend the next thousand years trying to recapture it. I can imagine an angel being like, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Take your pills. Who is Gino? A lonely old man clinging to his delusions and rehearsing his fantasies or a legitimate anomaly, a thousand year old man who continues to search for the love he lost so long ago. 
As Angel comes to learn the truth about Geo, so does the reader. And his miraculous story comes to a head, so does the biggest truth of that love. Timeless, often elusive, is sometimes right in front of us. Woof, it only has 31 ratings? What is going on? on today. Historical fiction, literary fiction, speculative fiction, it doesn't know what it wants to be. This comes out November 7th, 332 pages. <laughs> Not gonna lie, we're kind of striking out today. Okay, so What the River Knows is a young adult book. I didn't include this one in my poll because I've read it. <laughs> I read the ARC of it. I love this author's book, Together We Burn. So I requested this ARC because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna love it. I didn't love it. I did not love the book. Um, so I'm not obviously going to get a physical copy of it and I'm not gonna do it in my poll for my spoiler talk because I already read it and I'll talk about it in my wrap up video, my thoughts on it. Basically, I felt like it was very young adult. Um, it's about like this young woman who goes to um, Egypt and it's like historical fiction mixed with like magical realism. And she's trying to figure out what happened to her parents when they disappeared. It wasn't as good as I was hoping. Let's just say that. Okay, so a romance, love that. This spells love. It's a debut and it's an early release. Light read, like that magical, salacious friends to lovers. When Gemma gets dumped by her long-term boyfriend, she reacts any way any reasonable 28 year old would by getting drunk with her sister and best friend Dax. After one too many margaritas, they decide to form a <laughs> love cleansing spell, which promises to erase Gemma's ex from her memory. They follow all the instructions, including a platonic kiss from Dax to seal the deal. <laughs> I feel like it's a bad idea to remove your awful ex from your memory because I feel like you're just gonna be like, if you ran into him on the street, you're gonna be like, oh, he's cute. Like you're not gonna remember that, oh, we broke up for a reason. When Gemma wakes up and realizes that this silly spell has worked, not only does it seem that she's never dated her ex, but the rest of her life is completely unrecognizable. The worst part, Dax has no idea who she is. To reverse the spell and get back to her old life, Gemma must convince her once best friend, now near stranger to kiss her, but <laughs> carries out her plans, she finds herself falling for him hard. Soon, Gemma begins to wonder whether she even wants to go back to the way things were. What if Dax was the one all along? That one sounds goofy, but I like that it's salacious. <laughs> Whoa, it comes out in December. This happens every month where in my mind, I'm like, we're in October. And it's really gonna be released like a month early. But I see that and I'm like, December, December's like six months away. But I feel like it's doing well so far. 4.16, 700 ratings, 352 pages. Basic for a romance book. Literary fiction, let us descend. Haunting and Haunted, this is the powerful story of an enslaved girl seeking redemption with the help of, help of her ancestors. This book is experimental. What does that mean? Content warning sexual assault. Let Us Descend is a reimagining of American slavery as beautifully rendered as it is heart-wrenching. The novel is a journey from the rice fields of the Carolinas to the slave markets of New Orleans and into the fearsome heart of Louisiana sugar plantation. Innes sold South by the white enslaver who fathered her is the reader's guide through this hellscape. Oh, I like how they say it's the reader's guide instead of like the main character. That's kind of fun. As she struggles through the miles long march, Annis turns inward, seeking comfort from the memories of her mother and stories of her African warrior grandmother. Throughout, she opens herself to a world beyond this world, one teeming with spirits of earth and water, of myth and history, spirits who nurture and give, and those who manipulate and take. 4.18, that's pretty good. Historical, okay, so this has historical fiction. I feel like this would be historical fiction, magical realism, not literary fiction. Um, 320 pages, so it's a little guy. Some interesting picks this month. Curious to see what the poll winner is going to be. I think two add-ons this month. Um, that are new. Checkmate by Allie Hazelwood. That's her young adult novel. I don't have any interest in reading it personally. And then The Future was also another um, new add-on. It's like dystopian. So yeah, super curious to know what you guys think of this month's picks. 
Personally, I think they're a little weak. There aren't a ton of new releases in November that I'm like super excited about. So I'm not that surprised that um, the, the picks are kind of weak. And I am curious to know, are there books that you are excited for from these picks or just in November in general? What books are you picking this month? What are you excited for? Let me know in the comments below. So that is it for me today, guys. Don't forget to go vote in the poll. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.